Gold retreated on Monday as the dollar rose versus the euro, but was still around a nine-week high as pressure on Asian stock markets continued to support investors' flight to safety. Joining us today is Frank Holmes. He's in San Antonio today. Frank, good to have you back. Happy New Year. Happy New Year to you and all your listeners. Well, Frank, you say gold opened up the year with a very strong gain, climbing slightly over 4%. Let's talk about gold's start to the year here. Well, I think it's the geopolitical events of North Korea um, testing a bomb and uh, the other sort of uncertainty that's taken place in the Middle East. Those trigger gold to rise, but it's not sustainable. Uh, I think the big headwinds this year are going to be the love trade is going to be the Middle East slowing down with oil prices lower uh, because they buy gold every time uh, oil is strong. They just buy more gold for giving. And I think China, the same thing. Uh, is important to recognize. It'll just be a slower consumption. As for the fear trade, it's real interest rates and what are they going to do? And I think that that's the key component here of looking at gold. Well, Frank, let me ask you, many sell side experts warned that gold wouldn't be able to break out above the 1100 resistance level. Some still calling for gold to fall below 1000, possibly back to 960. Is this a possibility for you? Well, let's talk about that standard deviation move we've spoken so many times about. It's a normal DNA of gold to go plus or minus 20%. That's $200 up or down 70% of the time for the past 10 years is what it can do. So saying they can fall below $1,000 is really nothing special. Uh, it could also jump $200. Frank, it was a star metal not too long ago, but the worst performing precious metal for the week was palladium falling over 12% likely on weak manufacturing data coming out of China. So is it a buy now? I don't think so, because we have to get China PMI. And we've commented on this many times on your show. It's it, to turn positive, and it's below 50. It's impacting global uh, manufacturing indices. So palladium is very, very highly, highly correlated to the growth of PMI in China. All right, finally, Frank, what's your touchdown pass going to be this week? Well, it's really micro on this PMI analysis, and it's going to be your great state, the empire uh, manufactured numbers people are focusing on, because Texas has turned negative like China with the oil market slowing down, and they're going to start dissecting the PMIs of, of these uh, economic blocks within America. Frank, thanks so much for joining us. We'll see you next week. Happy investing. And thanks for watching this edition of The Gold Report. We'll see you tomorrow.